What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Slightly Cryptic Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how I made this herringbone serving tray. Uh, I just felt like making one. I think initially I had planned on uh, making them and selling them, but then I realized it wasn't worth the effort uh, when I do the charge. But it ended up coming in handy because we just had a baby in March and my wife was sitting on the couch with all our pumping stuff and said, I wish I had some sort of tray that I could sell this on. And I said, hold on, I have one in the basement. And it's come in handy for the past few months. So here's how I made it. I started out by taking a two foot by four foot piece of one quarter inch plywood and just ripping it in half. And I checked to make sure both pieces were the same width. And then I did some layout work to figure out how long I would need to cut each piece for the to make the herringbone pattern. All I'm doing is just cutting the 1x4s and gluing them to the quarter inch piece of plywood. After I got my layout, I went over to the miter saw and cut out a few test pieces to come back and make sure everything was okay before I cut all the pieces. The herringbone pattern is pretty simple. All the boards are placed at 45 degree angle. Uh, you don't need to cut a miter or anything like that. Um, here I realized I kind of screwed up. All I did was move my stop block a little bit to make each piece a little bit longer. And before gluing everything up, I just laid it out the way I wanted it to look. And this is basically just it. No nails. I just glued each piece and put a small paint can or polyurethane can on top of each piece. There are a few gaps, but weren't that noticeable. And it kind of goes with the the rustic look of the piece. Cutting the edges off was a bit of a challenge. Uh, I barely had enough room to line up the corners of the overhanging pieces against my fence. And here is where I realized that I didn't glue one of the pieces on. But I decided to cut the overhanging pieces off anyway, and I would go back and glue that piece on later. Here's where I glue it back on. Uh, I did it before I cut off the other edge, which makes sense, although I had to wait a couple hours before I could do it. And Finally, cut the other pieces off. Now I'm going to cut off the ends with my miter saw, cut it in half so I can make two of these. And then glue on this little piece that got knocked off. Then I just sanded everything down to 220 grit. I don't know where the footage is for attaching the sides, but it was really simple. You just cut four pieces. As you can see right here, there's the side piece and one of the long pieces. Uh, now I'm countersinking the holes so I can attach the handles. I used a Forstner bit to, to drill down so the pan head of the screw would fit into the wood and I have a piece of tape to mark the depth. I'm 
just giving it a little handle, a little test to make sure I got the spacing properly. Then I just came back with the appropriate size drill bit to put the hole all the way through. And then I stained it with a weathered gray, although it looks very much gray in this picture. Uh, and then just attached both of the handles. And that's it. There's your herringbone serving tray. Do whatever you want. Click the like button. Don't click it. I don't care. Subscribe. Don't subscribe. I don't care. See you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.